Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson, and today I'm taking a look at Sony's ultra wide angle zoom lens, the 11 to 18 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6. It's a lens designed for APS-C size sensors, such as this A77 that I have in my hand, and is targeted towards those who love shooting landscapes and architecture. At the time of this video, this is the widest zoom lens that Sony currently offers for A mount users. So keep watching to see how well this lens performs and see my personal thoughts on it. The lens has an all plastic construction with rubber zoom and focus rings and a metal mount. It takes 77 millimeter filters and people that use ND or polarizing filters can rest easy as the front element of the lens doesn't rotate whilst focusing. The lens isn't overly heavy weighing in at 360 grams so it could be carried around for long periods of time. The motor does make quite a bit of noise whilst autofocusing and autofocus speed is relatively quick. However, one of the problems people may face is that the focus ring does turn whilst autofocusing. Other than that, the lens extends slightly when zooming in and the focus and zoom rings are easy to turn without any resistance. Now one of this lens's best features is of course it being a wide angle lens, which allows the photographer to capture more in the frame and this will complement the 18 to 55 millimeter lens perfectly. The lens has a focus distance scale printed just beneath the focus ring and comes supplied with a pedal type plastic lens hood which aids to block out any flare from the sun entering your photos. It's not a good lens for low light photography but in my opinion this can be forgiven because people who normally buy this lens will be using a tripod for landscape images where they need a longer exposure. Image quality isn't anything to rave on about as there is a fair amount of distortion and I highly recommend correcting this in Photoshop or Lightroom if you want to fix this. However, it is very sharp in the centers and stopping down till about f8 or f11 will give you sharp images. There were no problems with purple fringing and the colors exhibited in the photos are actually pretty good. The 11 to 18 millimeter is a decent lens for anyone who wants to capture landscapes, architecture, or even just want to fit everything within the shot. It has a good build that isn't too heavy to carry around for long periods and is capable of taking some amazing photos as long as you're aware of the lens's limitations. Stopping down will give you sharp images and whilst there is also some distortion, which is expected of wide angle lenses, it can always be corrected in post. If you're on a budget, you may also want to consider Sigma's 10 to 20 millimeter or Tamron's 11 to 18 or even Takina's 11 to 16 millimeter lenses. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and if you already own one, let me know what you think of it and like and subscribe to my channel for more Sony Alpha product reviews and tutorials. You can also check out some more photo updates on my Facebook page by clicking the link below. Happy shooting and thanks for watching.